okay on the road on a road with local uh, a local road with the curbs and poor markings no markings in fact and uh, it has uh, well I am in fact able to, to activate here this is uh, the new firmware version with the funky name and um, that is 2017.28.c5288a um, here comes the rain uh, that's a really funky name I must say but whatever as you can see the auto head uh, auto auto uh, wipers doesn't work in yet either that's sad I really need that robs the car of the premium feel when you have to adjust your wipers all the time I've had that for on cheaper cars for six last six seven years now um, yeah I can activate again kind of follows this line that's okay but so many uh, abort messages and, and things where the car does strange things that it doesn't really feel useful. No chance of activating the auto steer at this point. Um, comes on later as usual. Speed limit is recognized wrong after the map change. a fine distance to the, the wall and the vegetables at the side here so that works fine using the the crack in the pavement as a, a lane marker but has more difficulties finding a lane that it used to uh, especially at this point where it used to recognize the curb and then suddenly it panics and Okay, recognizes a parked car, uh, that's good. Brake for it also. It's easier for you to see the energy meter on the left side, I guess. So, um, oh, suddenly a portion, I'm not sure why. Um, let's try again. It doesn't recognize the curbs it used to uh, on this 17. Dot 2017.28. What's it called? 28.c528 something. Okay, now it comes to the crossing. That's good. <coughs> and the earlier 17.4 versions or something like that did in fact uh, auto steer at this road. It has been long gone now. No signs of recognizing anything remotely close to, to self-drive <coughs> uh, Tesla at uh, this morning's or um, uh, Model 3 launch event uh, stated quite firmly that all Teslas, also the SNX, has firmware fully capable of fully autonomous driving, I think that's what uh, Musk said fully autonomous driving um, at least uh, we could hope for in the near future some level 2 driving at these kind of roads but I'm not sure that will happen I'm not sure since they don't communicate what is lacking either it's kind of frustrating to be an owner that has paid for those features okay recognizing a car parked and then we get the usual abort message where it doesn't see any lines so okay not a big improvement with the C5288 version uh, at the moment I'm sorry to say that <laughs>